then folks good afternoon welcome back non-league to premier league here we are as you can see away at leicester city you were last with us then for the demolition of us by chelsea 2-0 we then went away to liverpool lost 2-0 we were at home in norwich lost 2-1 tried to stop the rights to change things up a little bit didn't work we lost to bournemouth we lost to tottenham we lost to man city as you can see after the manchester city game i did say to you that things were looking a little bit ropey and that we weren't going to be in charge of this team for too much longer we were given an ultimatum by the board to get eight points in the next five games you look at that run of games there especially and you think very very achievable no problem which is exactly what I thought. First two games, Fulham away, 2-0. Routine win, no problem. Sheffield United at home, 3-1. Absolutely no problem, even with going 1-0 down. Team showed a lot of character. Coming back, bang, for oh Well, this has got to be it now, in the bag. Next game at home to Watford. We've only got to get really a draw, which should enable us to get, any, to get something. And we'll be all right. Watford then come to us and absolutely hammered us, 3-0 unbelievable then away at Huddersfield a team right down near the bottom of the league again we thought yeah no problem easy one we'll get through we'll be okay we got smashed 4-2 absolutely smashed so the moral of the story today is away at Leicester of all places we have got to win there is no no drawing of, is, a, is available. Draw is not good enough for us. If we draw, we are going to lose our job. If we lose, we are going to lose our job. So there's no pressure on us today, right? So let's get into things. With the evening kickoff, everybody else has already done their thing. So, as you can see, previous history against Leicester has not been fantastic. Gone back to a 4-3-3 after dabbling around with um, the 4-2-3-1, which never really worked in our favour. And then we also doubled around with a 3-5-2, which started off well, and then we're just getting decimated by teams. So we've got to hope today, then, that we can do the business. So we are going to change things up a lot, because we are, at the moment, not doing what we should be doing. Uh, Ferreira's not going to be starting, that's going to be Sigurd, so we're going to be playing Ronnie Lopez, our box-to-box -box midfielder is going to be Alex Bentz, and I think, yeah, Max Ahrens comes in at right back, then Donka will come out for Turinga, who's now back at full, back at full fitness, as he was out for a little while, everybody else is going to stay the same, I think, Maduke is still injured, don't need anybody else on the bench. We're quite set there. Probably Dendonka for Derby though. Derby will come on, of course, for Willy Bowley. So our starting 11 today then. Really, those two should have been switched around, shouldn't they? That should be the central defender on the cover. Starting 11 today then. We've got Svilar in, def in defence, in goal. With Diongo, Turinga, Derby and Aarons at the back. We've got Henderson just in front of the back, for back four. And Benson Gibbs White in midfield with Sigurdsson, Lopez and Haaland making up our front three. We've got to win this game today. And if we do win the game today, it's obviously January. So we're going to need to make some reinforcements. That being said, financially at the moment, the club is absolutely just going down a shitter. 15 million in debt, a transfer budget of 1 million and only 40% of transfer revenue made available. Not looking too brilliant, folks. So... Let's see if we can save ourselves, shall we? If we get sacked today, in the next episode, it will be me taking over the next club that we go to. Where that will be, Lord only knows. There are a few interesting jobs up and available. However, after the project that we've had at Wolves, you know, I thought that we should have pressed on a little bit and done better than we have done. Certainly this season, we should be placed a lot higher than we are. And... The team, for whatever reason, just isn't playing very well together. Obviously got to be down to me. But <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. We've got to end our poor run of form today. There's no point in me saying there's no pressure on you today. There is pressure on all of us today. Because if we don't win this, I lose my job. Uh, we'll send the assistant to that. And here we go then, folks. So, 
Leicester away. First five minutes, very, very quiet. Two chances for both. We're slightly dominating possession at the moment, which we have been doing. I'm going to actually switch to a more positive. Oh, I don't know if I need to. Haaland puts it just wide. A great free kick whipped in from Lopez. 20 minutes gone then and still not an awful lot happening. It's not the most... Oh, Jordan Henderson's picked up an injury. That is terrible for us at the moment. Dendonka can play in the middle there. If, he's, if his conditioning continues to drop, we're going to have to bring him off. And Diddy then on the ball. Clark Lono back to Ndidi. Berkovic. Ndidi again. Vera. Berkovic. He goes for Redmond. Nathan Redmond finds... Oh, my God. And Diddy gets it out wide to Hayaz. And Tuttle. Neil Tuttle, third goal of the season. He scored against us last time we played Leicester. He's scored again today. And as it stands at the moment, it's Leicester City 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 0. And we are facing the Axe. Haaland to kick off then to Jordan Henderson. Back to Derby. Max Ahrens inside to Gibbs White. Finds Alex Bentz, back to Henderson, back to Gibbs White. He has got people on the right hand side of him. Our players run into each other. Henderson plays it back to Derby. Derby all the way back to Svila, which is not really what we want to see at this time. Jordan and out to Deonge. Plays it forward for Sigurdsson. Into oh my god, Sigurdsson plays a lovely ball in for Haaland, and Haaland hits it straight down the middle. We are going to demand more here, and the lads are feeling the pressure. They think they're feeling pressure. Their jobs aren't on the line. They've still got contracts after this game. If it isn't, you know, if they lose, they lose. Aggressive. We expect to see more tactics. We are going to have to bring Henderson off for Dendonka then. Not a move I'm overly happily about making. Can Goretzka play there? Goretzka can play there. Okay, we're not going to bring Dan Donker on. That's complete and not a lie. We're going to bring Goretzka in. It's not his best position. What about Alex Benz? No, we'll, we'll play Goretzka there. That's fine. And I think that's all we're going to do for now. But it's not looking good, folks. It's really not. We're going to have to tell him to get creative. See if you can do a little something. Half starts off then with Leicester coming forward. Clark whips it over to Neil Tuttle. And Neil Tuttle, what a goal that is. It's not the day where you want to see strikers scoring superb goals. Bottom corner finds the net really well. And it comes from nothing. Ball over the top from Clark Lonu. And the defence is nowhere near him. And Tuttle just bears down on Svilar. Svilar comes out. The angle opens up. Slots it away nicely. Leicester 2, Wolves 0, and that is surely us gone. We're fired up here, but is fired up going to do anything? I don't know. We've got to go very attacking now. And in fact, we're actually going to make a couple of changes. We're going to have to go to the 4 3, 4 2 3 1. Goretzka's going to have to come back to here. We're going to have to play with two kind of attacking midfielders. Again, Sigurdsson has just done absolutely nothing, which is infuriating. This man has got all the potential in the world, and yet he's absolutely awful. We're going to move Lopez up to attack. Derby, obviously, he needs to be the cover defender, so we've got to switch those two round at the back. Um, for some reason, that's not got him on stopper. Who else can we bring on? Who else is going to make a real difference here? Have we got anybody who might? Do we bring on NATO? Lopez is looking nervous, so we'll bring on Pedro Neto. And away we go, folks. That's it. All three substitutions have been made. We are in a attacking mentality is what we need. Derby plays it forward to Diango. Back to Derby. Into Gibbs White. Comes forward. Rounds his man nicely. He's still got two on him, though. Out wide to Max Ahrens. Can Ahrens find the ball? He does. He finds Alex Bence. Bence plays it down the line. It's a poor ball. But we've not given up on it. The ball's bouncing around. Neto to Haaland. And again Haaland. I mean, I think he was offside anyway. But he's still headed it straight at the keeper. Diongo with the throw. Gibbs White. Diongo gets across in. Haaland this time, finally. Nods it in. Doesn't hit it straight down the line at the keeper this time. And that is a slither of hope, boys and girls. Just a slither. We've got a lot to do still. 15 minutes to go as Justin takes a throw in. Neil Tutti. Back to Justin. 
Tuttle again. Vera, back to Justin. Can we get a foot in, please? Somebody. Barkley then. Indeed he goes for goal from range. And Svila only just gets down and gets a bah, little hand on it. Oh, Redmond with the corner. And it's in. Svila makes the save. Can we launch a counter-attack from this? No, apparently that's just the end of the highlight. Shouts. Demand more. Come on. Do something, please. The young guy then. Gibbs White. Finds Goretzka. Out to the young guy. Oh, the cross is just too far in. And Radu comes out and collects. Launches a counter-attack. But Aaron's is there. Spreads it out wide. But can't quite get there. And Gibbs White then to Ferreira. Back to Diongue, to Leon Goretzka, inside to Bentz. Goes out wide to Max Ahrens because Nato's not there. And Haaland scores 2-2. Seven minutes to go. Scenes, absolute scenes. Our job's not quite out of us. It's it's all in our hands now. It's all there. Um, we've got to, if we can get creative and just get this into a 3-2 situation. Svila, that we're playing very dangerously with the ball at the back. Diongue brings it forward, finds Ferreira, doesn't quite get onto the ball, which is annoying. Vera brings it forward for Leicester, to Philip, to Tuttle, to Nathan Redmond, a former blue man. Svila gets down at his near post, though. Come on, boys. Svila out to Diongue, does go past his man, gets in a bit of trouble, finds Ferreira, though. He's got Bents and he's got Goretzka in front of him, but Ferreira cuts inside. Bents then plays it out to Diongue. Diongue can't get the cross in. Is he going to recycle it? He is. He gets it there. Leon Goretzka. It's gone in, lad. Go on. 3-2. The scenes from 2-0 down. The boys, they don't want me to leave. I don't want to leave. We've got all the potential in the world. We just haven't lived up to it this season. As Diongue does well to recycle the ball. Goretzka gets a head on it. Radu gets a hand to it, but still can't keep it from going out. And that is sensational. And we're going to stay. We're going to stay. Oh, my God. No. Five minutes of extra time. Unless the corner. Oh, it's off the line. Gibbs White. I'm sorry, guys. I can't even keep, can't keep the excitement in at the moment. This is ridiculous. The amount of, <laughs> the amount of emotion that goes through with this is stupid. Aaron's finds Bent. Come on, Alex. Don't do anything stupid, lad. Just waste the clock down. Another goal here would be terrific. I mean, that would be perfect. Alex Benston plays it all the way. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to be a counter for Leicester. 40 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. And right there. What a fantastic comeback. It's been a while since we've seen a win on Oh, I'm one of the live comms. I'm sorry, the emotions are running high. We've just saved our job, folks. And that was absolutely bloody sensational. And we'll go into the news then. And if we go into our inbox, we'll see it just here. Barkley suffers. Jordan Henderson's injured. How long is he out for now? Three to five days. Reach a points target. The Bruyne. Board, I'm delighted to inform you that following the promise you made to them, they are now satisfied you've done your utmost to keep it. They are pleased that you delivered on the points agreed total and were t particularly impressed that you exceeded their expectations, notching an impressive nine points in five matches. As a result of the improvements you have made as manager, the board have cancelled plans to relieve you of your role at the club. Going forward, the, hope, the board hope you won't give them reason to regret their decision in the future. Oh, we made it, folks, by the skin of our teeth. When you're 2-0 down at the King Power, you don't think it's going to go your way. You really don't. I was getting ready to tell you that the next episode, we're going to be looking for a new club. I didn't have much hope coming into this episode, and to be able to finish it still at Wolves is absolutely buzzing. Now what we've got to do is sort out this squad so they can play like that all the time. Maybe we do just go back to the 4-2-3-1 and we shouldn't have really tinkered around with things in the first place. I don't know. It's been a rough ride. It's been a really rough season. Thank you very much for the continued support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video today, do smash the like button for me. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. We're uploading on every Monday, every Wednesday and every Friday. That's all from me today on this beautiful Monday, folks. Do take care of yourselves.
I'll see you soon.